and welcome back. Uh, so in this video I want to tell you about uh, Samsung Elements uh, a bit more, uh, what they contain, uh, how they modify the Samsung uh, interface and what you can do with them, how you can uh, add them and uh, remove them. So the thing is that a Samsung Element might contain several Samsung classes and you have different types of Samsung classes. For example, Samsung classes can be um, importers, exporters, force fields, apps, editors, visual models, uh, meaning graphical representations. So, depending on the type of classes included in this uh, Samsung element, elements, again, one Samsung element might contain several uh, Samsung classes, the interface will be modified in uh, several ways. So imagine, for example, uh, one Samsung element contains uh, importers and exporters. Then these will be visible here when you try to open a file. For example, here I have a list of available importers. So uh, MOL2 importer, PDB importer, XYZ importer, Samsung format importer, etc. Et Okay, so this is because I have added Samsung elements that contain Samsung classes that are importers. If I try to export something, it will be the same. These are the exporters that I have that are available. Then a very important type of uh, Samsung classes are editors, and I'll tell you about that again. But basically, the editors are visible here in the edit menu. We'll come back to that. So these are the available editors that were included in some Samsung elements that I have installed. Another uh, important type of Samsung class is a force field that are available when I uh, try to add a simulator to my system. And another very important type of uh, Samsung class that may be contained in a Samsung element is an app. Here I have two apps. I have two apps that have been added from uh, Samsung Connect. Okay, And as you might have guessed now, we can add uh, and remove new Samsung elements from the Samsung Connect uh, website. Okay, And I have to be logged in because these Samsung elements are added to a specific Samsung installation so that if I install Samsung on several platforms, for example, if I'm teaching and I want to add uh, Samsung on all the computers of a classroom, then I'll install Samsung with the same login. And whenever I do a modification on Samsung Connect, uh, these modifications are synchronized uh, on all the computers when I restart uh, Samsung on each computer. So I'm going to log in. And I'm going to add uh, this time elements that I have never added yet. So they are not available in uh, the My Samsung page, but are available in uh, the Elements page. Okay, so here I'm going to, um, let's say, add uh, this module for uh, Autodoc Vina. So again, Autodoc Vina is a very popular uh, protein ligand docking program. Um, that has a permissive license that allowed us to integrate it inside a Samsung element. And so we can just install it to Samsung by clicking Add. So if I want some information, before I do that, if I want some information on uh, Samsung elements, I can just click on them and I have a quick overview here. I can look at screenshots. Uh, let's go to this one, for example. So very often you have a little help that tells you how you can simply use the, the module. Uh, even the screenshots give some indications. But anyway, uh, we're going to put uh, videos to, uh, to, to show tutorials of, um, about these uh, specific Samsung elements. You can also go directly to the details page, which sometimes uh, will give more information link, direct link to the element if you want to share this information with someone. So I'm going to add uh, this Samsung element. Again, we know that uh, it's pending. 
I'm going to restart Samsung. It's downloading the module and because this Samsung element contains a Samsung class that is an app, it's visible here in the app toolbar and in the app menu here. Okay, so in summary, Samsung elements contain one or more Samsung classes, which might be of different types, importers, exporters, force fields, apps, editors, and depending on what these classes are, they modify the Samsung interface in, uh, in several ways. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll uh, see you again in the next video. Thank you.